The Qinghai Tibet Plateau is the largest and highest plateau in the world. It is also known as the roof of the world and the third pole of the earth. It has a profound influence on the global climate and shapes local life and civilization on the planet. Here, beautiful scenes create a sense of wonder. The Qinghai Tibet Plateau contains over 9 trillion cubic meters of water. It is the source of a number of rivers in Asia and hailed as the water tower in the region. Located in the middle of the Qinghai Tibet Plateau, the Amya Machan Range is one of the water sources of the Yellow River with 57 glaciers in different sizes. As global warming continues unabated, deglaciation is accelerating, which worries Tenzin Daryong, a herder who has lived at the foot of the snow-capped mountain since he was born. Since 2008, Daryong has been engaged in Amye Machun Range protection every summer and fall. Daryong and his colleagues, who belong to a squad of mountain protectors, measure the altitude of the snow line and report the data to the Bureau of Natural Resources in Makan Town. The snow-capped Amye Ma Chun is one of the four sacred mountains in Tibetan Buddhism, and the squad members are honored as watchers of the sacred Amye Ma Chun. Chinese scientists have set up a number of stations to monitor the snow mountains, glaciers, and frozen earth which helps more accurately analyze the influence of temperatures, precipitation on the mountains. They then make glacier protection strategies accordingly. Meanwhile, visit to the glaciers has been prohibited by local authorities to reduce human disturbance and maintain the functions of a solid reservoir of snow mountains, glaciers, and frozen earth. Where the gentle Niyang River meets the wild Yarlung Zongbo River in Niyingchu, a prefectural city in Tibet, a picturesque and spectacular wetland thrives. The Chinese have been making every effort to protect this beautiful and fragile land. In 2009, the project of the Yani National Wetland Park was initiated, aiming to promote the protection and restoration of wetlands. By June 2022, 122.6 hectares of wetland vegetation have been recovered in the park and the ecological functions of the wetland have been restored. The special geographic location and natural conditions of the Yanni wetland make it an excellent location to study river evolution and biodiversity conservation of the wetlands on the Qinghai Tibet Plateau. On March 21st, 2021, Researchers from the Tibet Agricultural and Animal Husbandry University went deeper into the wetland to conduct scientific surveys and photographed a population of more than 110 black necked cranes in Mire Township, Bai District of in recent years, China has strengthened monitoring and protection of animals and plants, with the number of some rare wild animals and plants having increased significantly. The red deer, endemic to Tibet, thought to be extinct, has been rediscovered. It is not unusual that photographer Zhao Shengfu hunkers down on the ice or in the snow while taking photographs and eats and sleeps in the wild, which he has done for several decades. His photos unveil beautiful creatures and breathtaking nature in the mountains, 
displaying Chinese respect and goodwill for nature. By 2018, China had set up 155 nature reserves that cover 822,400 square kilometers of the Qinghai Tibet Plateau, accounting for 57.56% of the total area China's nature reserves on land. These nature reserves generally cover the unique and fragile ecosystems and rare species on the Qinghai Tibet Plateau. At the time, China began to ban projects featuring high pollution, high emissions, and high energy consumption from entering the plateau. Instead, it began to develop clean energy and green industries and revise policies and regulations related to the eco-environment on the plateau. A system for promoting ecological environment on the plateau is being gradually improved. By far, the Qinghai Tibet Plateau is still one of the cleanest regions on Earth. Whether it is now or in the future, and no matter how far the boundaries human beings will explore, we should cherish the eco-environment as we cherish our own lives and protect the animals and plants, the rivers and mountains. The majestic Tibet Plateau is always the holy and promised land in people's mind.